Hello, friends of our Daily Light channel, your sister Grace. Friends, it's not a day of our rendezvous, but I was, as I was studying the Word of God, I was having this push to share this short word with us. Hallelujah. I don't have any specific title, but it's something that I just want us to discuss. As a child of God, does the Holy Spirit truly depart from you after you sin? When you wrong, you commit any sin, any iniquity, any transgressions. Hallelujah. Beloved, many of us, we condemn ourselves. You listening to me, it's a timely word unto somebody. Stop seeing yourself as fake. You are a child of God. If you've accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, because you struggle daily to overcome one particular sin, I want us to know that that does not mean you are not a child of God. That does not mean the Holy Spirit leaves you immediately. I want us to know that if you are living sin to thrive, in your life and not do anything about it. That is, if you live in compromise, it might imply that you as an individual, you are not truly born again in the first place. Hallelujah. Because if you are a born again believer, hallelujah, you have this burning desire to free yourself from sin. You have this burning desire to strive. Except for those sins that are like strongholds, that needs total deliverance by prayer. As a child of God, as a believer who is praying each day and you find yourself striving, saying, oh God, please help me with this particular sin to overcome it. The Bible says in Romans seven nineteen that Apostle Paul says, I do the things I don't want to do and the things that I want to do, I don't do them. Many of us, we condemn ourselves you condemn yourself. Continuing in this particular sin means I don't have the Holy Spirit. Those are the things we say to ourselves. No, that is not the issue. It does not mean you don't have the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Galatians 5.17 that the spirit fights against the flesh. Hallelujah. And the flesh against the spirit likewise. So ask yourself, if you think you don't know God, or you think you don't have the Holy Spirit, who then in you is fighting against the flesh? Who then is in you is like trying to convict you whenever you do this particular wrong thing? What in you makes you to, to like sober, makes you to think that this thing that I just did is wrong? Who? It is the Holy Spirit. The fact that you're listening to me, and that you are fighting against sinning on and on, on a daily basis. You do it and you still come to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Father, I did not want to do it again. It is a fact that somebody is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. It is a proof that the Holy Spirit is the one convicting you. Because otherwise, you, my friend, you would have been living in that sin, enjoying it to the fullest. Hallelujah. But the fact that you feel bad and even hate it, it shows the Holy Spirit is in you and is the one convicting you of the wrong or of that particular sin. So I just came to encourage you, hold strong. Hold fast to that which you've believed, that which you've confessed. The Spirit of the Lord is there. He is the one he knows. He is still holding you by the hand. He will lead you in the perfect way. Just keep striving. Just keep praying. One day you will get up and discover that that sin does not have a foothold over your life anymore. You discover that you don't find the desire to do it any longer. You discover that you are stronger than it. And you have overcome in the name of Jesus I pray for everyone in this situation struggling with any particular sin 
or unrighteousness, feeling unworthy at this very moment, I speak comfort to your spirit. I pray the spirit of God will encourage you one more time to show you that he is still there with you, even in it, and that you will overcome. For he that is in you is greater than that particular sin. He that is in you is an overcomer. He has overcome even before you were born. So he will help you to overcome that sin, that challenge in the name of Jesus. Hold strong, hold tight to him. The blood of Jesus is still speaking loud and clear on that particular sin. So be strong. God is there to help you and he will see you through in Jesus mighty name. Remember I your sister Grace. I love you with the love of God but Jesus Christ of Nazareth he loves you much more than I do. God bless you in Jesus.